I'll do where we are now is named from the Black Cliff. Now the Black Cliff could be either the waterfall right here, but it could also be those wonderful cliffs up the slope on Bunakunin here. These cliffs are the results of the deposition of volcanic ash while other sediments were accumulating. And volcanic ash, when it becomes into rock, we call it tuff, or in this case, a particular type of tuff, ignimbrite. bright, it makes a very strong type of rock. During the Ice Age, when this entire valley was eroded, carved, very strong type of rocks, or even layers inside the sedimentary rock, like those layers of volcanic ash, stand out because they're harder to erode and end up like these sticking out as black cliffs on the slope of a mountain. But it's not the only thing you can see here in Haldu. By the side of the road, we have a wonderful example of an outcrop of conglomerate. Conglomerate is a generic term for gravel stone or a stone, sedimentary stone made out of sediments that are bits of rock of a particular size that is above the size of sand, size of gravel. But that includes not only what you would consider as gravel that you'll see on the side of the road, but also larger boulders, something that would be the shape and the size of my head or even bigger. Right here, we have a beautiful example of these with large boulders, size of my fist, size of my head, of various types of different rocks, which is very interesting because it tells you what kind of rocks were there that were eroded and then became part of this gravel. And that includes some very particular type of rocks, very pinkish red with white quartz minerals in there, which are granites, ancient granites, for which we don't have any outcropping examples today, which correspond to rocks that were created before those conglomerates, those gravels accumulated. Another aspect of this place is the view that you have of the Mount Trasna Mountains, and in particular of those layers of sediments that were deposited horizontally due to gravity, but are now clearly tilted because of past tectonic forces. And the river that flows into Loch Nafui here, the bed of this river was first really carved by melt water pouring out of a lake of glacial melt water behind us in the Gaolon Valley, carved this short but clear V-shaped valley for which this river is continuously pouring water from the higher mountains into the loch behind us. Thank you.